Okay, you can see that since I booted without pressing anything for the BIOS, it's taken me to a screen that says a bootable device has not been found. I can press Control Alt Delete twice to get it to reboot. And then I should, right when it comes up, see it in a menu item either about. Oh, there we go, I was pressing F10. So here it's asking me which boot device I want. I don't actually want either of these. Um, instead of F, I press Control Alt Delete again. This time I'm going to press F2 as it's coming up. And so here you can see I've been taken into sort of their fancy visual BIOS. I'm going to go ahead and plug a mouse into the Nook and run through some of these options as described in the document. Um, so looking at the document here we want to do first of all double check the date and time it's the 23rd. Um, that is not the correct date or time so what we want to do is get in here and change it. Um, 7 we have 22 2019 it is currently Fourteen fourteen p.m. So set that. Um, switches to two fourteen p.m. So, so we are here in our main screen right now. Um, I just changed the date and time logging. What I want to do over here is enable event logging and. Clear the event log doesn't matter too much since this is my first time booting it up. So and then hit the right button, which takes me to devices and peripherals. You can see. And there's a couple of things here that I want to do as outlined in the document. I want USB la la legacy to be enabled, charging an S3, S4, S5. So that's the default. And I don't see an option for the smart auto. Might be on an upgraded version of this. We'll have to check upgrading. Actually, that's what we should do first. Is if we check on flashing the BIOS. Right here, you can see there's an update link, and it gives a date for 2018, 821. So it's about a year old. And this is where it wants a .bio file, so we'll have to go download 